So the other day I was trying to do motion gliding in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but then I drifted off the glider at such an angle that the glider didn't even come out. I was pretty upset that I then fell to my death, but then that got me thinking. How many tracks could you actually complete in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe without going on a glider? So you're probably wondering how we will define a glider. Even if I touch a glider ramp, that won't count as being in a glider. It will only count when the actual glider pops out from behind me. I will also only mention the tracks which are very hard to complete or impossible. So let's get into it. The first track I tried was Mario Kart Stadium. This one had one right here, but sadly, no matter what angle I drifted off it, or no matter what I did, I could not find a way to get past this, making Mario Kart Stadium impossible. The next track on my list was Water Park, and this one had another glider that looked unavoidable, and after a few failed attempts, I still couldn't do it. But then, after drifting off the glider at an angle, I surprisingly got it to not activate the glider. Drifting off gliders will come in very handy later, but for now, I ticked off Water Park. Sweet Sweet Canyon had this unavoidable cannon glider that I couldn't get past. Thwomp Ruins had this glider, but luckily, right after taking this little shortcut, there was a place to fall off the track. And after falling off, Lakitu took me to the other side, completing Thwomp Ruins without activating a glider. The next hard track that I attempted was Twisted Mansion, and this one had a glider right after you came out of the underwater section. I looked to see if the other path was any different, but encountered the same problem. I tried to go sideways off the glider just like Water Park, but that didn't work either, sadly making Twisted Mansion impossible. I thought for Shy Guy Falls you could just follow this water stream down the mountain, but when I tried it, Lakachu picked me up and put me just behind the glider panel, making this one incompletable. Sunshine Airport had two gliders. One to get up from this floating platform and one to get down from it. I managed to clear the one going down from the platform by using a mushroom and floating through the air. But I was having trouble with the cannon glider one, launching you up to the platform. After many failed attempts, I ended up giving up on Sunshine Airport. Thankfully, Lakitu took me past the glider on Dolphin Shoals after falling off. Electrodome seemed easy, but then I realised that you couldn't fall off the first glider, or drift off it, making Electrodome impossible. And sadly, I couldn't get past the last glider on Mount Wario. And for Cloudtop Cruise, I couldn't make it past the cannon glider. Bone Dry Dunes had two gliders, one on each path before the cave section at the end. I tried drifting diagonally off both of them, but still the glider came out, making Bone Dry Dunes impossible. Bowser's Castle was next, and luckily, after drifting off this glider, I made it, making Bowser's Castle possible. Rainbow Road had this glider right before you enter the spaceship, but sadly, I couldn't make it past, even after drifting. Cheeseland was up next and it had a glider right here, and after drifting off it, I luckily got it so the glider didn't come out, making Cheeseland possible. Wild Woods seemed easy, but no matter where I fell off to try and get past this glider, Lakitu just didn't take me to the other side, making it impossible. Animal Crossing was incompletable due to this glider before these floating item boxes. But I happily jumped off the side of Cheap Cheap Beach's first glider panel and made it past. N64 Royal Raceway was impossible due to this glider. But DK Jungle was possible because you can jump off the side of the temple here, avoiding this glider panel. Piranha Plant Pipeway was next, and this one had a glider as you came out of the underground tunnel. It seemed impossible until I got the perfect angle for my drift and didn't activate the glider. N64 Rainbow Road was next, and this one had a glider right at the start, which I bypassed by simply falling off the track. At the end of the course, there was another glider. I also thought that I could fall off it, but when I tried, Lakachu put me back where I came from, so I drifted off it instead and completed N64 Rainbow Road. I feel like these tracks where I just fall off are getting a little bit repetitive, so it's time for a lightning round. The tracks that were possible by simply falling off were Ribbon Road, Yoshi's Island, 
Bangkok Rush, Vancouver Velocity, and Piranha Plant Cove. So that gets a few treks out of the way. Ice Ice Outposts had these gliders right near the end, but sadly, no matter what angle I went off them from, I couldn't get the glider to not activate, making this trek incompletable. But luckily with Hyrule Circuit, I drifted off this first glider, making it possible. Neo Bowser City was also possible, by drifting off it. And I'm sure you have accidentally done this one time in a race by drifting off it, cause I certainly have many times. And Big Blue was obviously impossible because of this cannon glider. Next up was the Booster Course Pass, and the first track I tried was Paris Promenade. And I got past this glider by simply drifting off it. For some reason on Choco Mountain, I couldn't get the glider to not come out when I drifted off the glider, making it impossible. Sky Garden was easily one of the most interesting tracks of them all for this challenge, because after setting the speed to 200cc and using a mushroom on the right of this glider and hopping, you can clear this whole gap without even going near the glider panel. Just take a look at this, even the bitty buggy's wings are flapping. Ninja Hideaway had this huge gliding section in the middle of the track. I tried drifting off the glider on the top path, but that didn't work. I then tried doing the same thing on the bottom path, but Lakitu just put me back where I came from. I even tried to do it from this little shortcut, but still couldn't get Lakitu to take me to the other side, making this course impossible. Waluigi Pinball had this unavoidable glider right at the start, and Sydney Sprint's glider right near the start was also impossible. Even though I got the glider not to pop out, I fell off and Lakitu didn't take me to the other side. The same thing also happened with Sky High Sunday's first glider, where I drifted off it and that all worked fine, but when Lakachu came to grab me, he didn't put me to the other side. Rock Rock Mountain's first glider was possible by drifting off it, and the second one you could easily skip by simply falling off next to it, and the last one was also possible by drifting off it making Rock Rock Mountain possible. But the fun is ruined with Maple Treeway having an unavoidable cannon glider near the start. The first lap on 3DS Rainbow Road had no gliders, but starting off the second lap there was already one. I jumped off to the right side and luckily got taken across by Lakitu. The second one was a bit harder, but I ended up falling off just in time without touching the panel and making it past. And for the last one, when I came out of the spinning tunnel, I simply drove on the dash panel instead of the glider panel, making 3DS Rainbow Road possible. Amsterdam Drift was impossible right from the start due to this glider. Even though I drifted and didn't get the glider to pop up, Lakaju just put me right back before the glider. DK Summit had this impossible cannon glider and the same thing happened with Singapore Speedway. I drifted off the first glider on Athens Dash, but sadly Lakaju took me back where I came from after falling off. Squeaky Clean Sprint was also impossible for the same reason as Athens Dash at this glider. DK Mountain had this cannon glider right from the start, making it impossible. And lastly, we have Wii Rainbow Road, which sadly also had a cannon glider, making it impossible. There ended up being 28 tracks that require you to use a glider. Thank you so much for watching, and if you could please like the video, that would really help me out by getting this video recommended to many more people, because I worked on this video for so long. See ya!